We're asking that, that uh, we get more poll watchers. See, that's what you mean by surveillance. See, they're the only ones legally that can be there and, and, and be present. And you didn't have poll watchers We before. had a few, yes, we but had a few. you didn't have them in the boxes that there? Yes, they were in some of those that came in late. Now, may I say that, that for many, many years, there are a great number of us who have been protesting as loudly as we knew how against the adequacies of the paper <clears throat> ballot as a method of voting. I, <clears throat> I hope that if nothing else comes out of this election, that there will be a strong movement by Mr. Green and by everybody concerned to eliminate this antiquated method of voting in elections. We're very much concerned, and I think most uh, Texans will be concerned uh, when they learn that this new postal reform deal that was put together last week by George Meany of the AFL-CIO and, and the Postmaster General went in blunt. This new postal reform deal has a rather obscure provision that will eliminate the prohibition on compulsory unionism and will open the way toward forcing all postal workers into the union in order to work. And that, of course, will open the door for compulsory unionism among all government employees, which means uh, very shortly uh, we'll see uh, uh, most government employees, even down to the, to the local uh, community, policemen and firemen level, uh, in a situation where they'll have to join the union in order to work for their own government. Well, now, in all fairness, labor unions have done a lot of good in this country, and after all, there are provisions which says that Postal employees, for example, cannot go out on strike. Uh, so what exactly is your objection to that? Well, we certainly don't object to unions. In fact, our organization has many union members in its leadership. We believe in voluntary rather than compulsory unions. And uh, almost everywhere today, what unionism there is in government is voluntary. But uh, if this provision that's in the postal reform bill is adopted, as the Postmaster General and George Meany are trying to get it adopted, uh, this will set a precedent that will very quickly mean that unionism in government employment will be compulsory. Well, I think Apollo 13 was by far the, the closest call we've had in space. As you know, we did lose three people in a fire on the uh, launch pad. But uh, Apollo 13 was a very close call. It was a, uh, anytime you have an explosion in, in any sort of device that's, uh, whether or not it's anchored to the ground, you have a, a serious problem. And fortunately, we were able to improvise and the lunar module uh, functioned in a, in a manner in which it was never designed to function and provided the capability to return the crew. You just talked to the astronauts on that flight. Uh, what are their feelings toward the program? 
Well, I think their feelings, uh, I've expressed their feelings and that they all are part of it. They recognize that they knew before they took off they were at a hazardous mission. We all, all of us that are directly involved, uh, rightfully or wrongfully, think that it's an extremely important mission and of course they're looking forward uh, to the continuing exploration of the moon. We feel that that uh, the people that come to the park and the police that have surrounded the park in the last uh, couple of weeks, couple of Sundays, uh, if they'll come to the park, we think they'll find a common meeting ground eating a plate of red beans, and maybe they can talk on a personal basis and and overcome whatever whatever problems they're causing this bottle throwing, which is ridiculous. What happens in the future? If this thing fails, are we going to end up with uh, the same situation all summer that we've had the past couple of weeks, or what do you see it ending? <laughs> I don't know. I, I see it ending at the Bean Festival, and if it doesn't, we'll try something else. We don't want it. We don't want violence.
Moses, I understand this all began because this man shot at you here a while back. What was the circumstance of that? Well, uh, he had eluded some detectives from the Narcotics Bureau, I believe it was, uh, when they tried to serve a search warrant. He got away from them. And they put out a description on the radio, and I answered the, the call, went over there, and uh, I found him. I saw him. He shot at me a couple times. What happened then? Oh, well, he, he eluded us, too. Uh, somebody spotted him here this afternoon. He is supposed to be in the woods out here. Are you going to uh, are you going to go out and look for him uh, in a search party or what? Well, we've already got men searching from all directions, closing in, going through the woods. And uh, they should be able to find something. Is he supposed to be armed this afternoon? Now, I don't know if he is or not. The information I had uh, from a detective about a week ago was that he was armed with a sawed-off 22 rifle. He's considered a quite dangerous individual, is that right? Well, I don't know. We shot at me a couple times.